The Redmi Note 10 Pro models might be making a lot of headlines because of their high-end specifications, but it's the Redmi Note 10 that truly defines the Xiaomi series and is a friendly reminder of its success in the country. Now why I say this is because while the Redmi Note 10 Pro and Pro Max are priced between Rs 16 and Rs 22,000, the Redmi Note 10 is still in reach of most customers at well under Rs 15,000. It comes with a similar design language, a similar battery pack, an OLED display and a more than capable 48 megapixel camera. Now does all of this make the Redmi Note 10 an obvious buy or are there things that require closer attention? It's time to find out. I am Aras Tiwari, you are watching India Today Tech and this is our review of the Redmi Note 10. Now before we start our review, let me just remind you that we are really close to the 1 lakh subscriber mark and if you haven't subscribed to the India Today Tech YouTube channel, please do it now so that you can get all the latest updates from the channel and also recommend it to your friends who can also enjoy all the cool content that is coming along. Now coming to the Redmi Note 10, let's talk about the design first. The greatest trick Xiaomi has pulled with the Redmi Note 10 is to make sure that it does not look or feel like a Rs 12,000 smartphone. Yes, it ditches the glass finish for a plastic bag but manages to look far better than competition. The rear panel is surrounded by a metal grille which reminds you of the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE almost four times more expensive than the Redmi Note 10. The smartphone comes in three colors, aqua green, frost white, shadow black. As you can see, we had the white color variant for review, which looks stunning. However, you'll have to be extra conscious because this color variant can get dirty really fast. And one of the solutions for this is to apply uh, the protective case, which comes with the retail box, but that really takes away the charm from the phone. Xiaomi has kept things fairly simple at the back. Redmi Note 10 features a rectangular shaped camera module like the Pro models along with the Redmi branding at the bottom. The camera bump makes the phone sit unevenly on the surface but that's the case with most smartphones these days. Thankfully, the back panel does not catch too many fingerprint smudges. The right side houses the volume and power buttons. Xiaomi has equipped the entire Note 10 series with the side mounted fingerprint sensor despite using an AMOLED display. Now this means that your power button also doubles up as the fingerprint reader and this is a bit surprising because Xiaomi could have easily gone for an in-display fingerprint sensor given that it has used OLED displays on all the Redmi Note 10 smartphones but you have to save money somewhere so maybe that's the reason. The good thing is that the power button is positioned almost at the center which makes it easily reachable. The bottom houses a 3.5mm headphone jack, a Type-C USB charging port and one of the speakers. The Note 10 also comes with a proper 3 card slot which allows you to use tip 2 SIM cards and a micro SD card at the same time. Now one must also have to appreciate the fact that this smartphone weighs just 179 grams which is a lot lighter than what you usually get in this category. One of the major upgrades on this year's Redmi Note 10 series is the presence of Super AMOLED displays. Now this, the Redmi Note 10 comes with a 60Hz panel but still a pretty good 6.4 inch super AMOLED display with a peak brightness of 1100 nits. This is commendable given that some smartphones at this price point don't even have a full HD plus display. Xiaomi has also managed to marginally reduce the side bezels but the chin is still quite thick. The display has a hole punch cutout at the top to house the selfie shooter. The cutout is bigger than what Xiaomi has used on the Pro models but impressive for the price. The colors on the Redmi Note 10 look really good. The text and icons are sharp and videos are a treat at maximum brightness. The dynamic range though could have been better. Also the landscapes are often oversaturated, but there's a little you can complain about given the price. Xiaomi has protected the screen with Corning Gorilla Glass 3, which is old but solid. The smartphone is also rated IP53 for water and dust resistance. Talking about the camera, it's a part that most of you would be waiting for and Sadly, you don't get too much of an upgrade here. Xiaomi has gone with a 48 megapixel camera, which is now sort of become standard in this category. But what you get over others is a quad camera setup where you have an additional ultra wide angle lens as well. The phone comes with a 48 megapixel primary camera with an f1.79 aperture, an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, a 2 megapixel macro lens, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. On the front, you get a 13 megapixel selfie shooter. 
Now this is as good as it gets in this segment to give you some context. The Poco M3 which we thought and a lot of other people thought is probably one of the best budget smartphones in India right now. Uh, came uh, with a 48 megapixel main camera it was priced in the similar range but it did not have an ultra wide angle lens and that was a huge miss. The camera app also has enough options to keep anyone busy apart from the usual photo, video and portrait mode you also get the night mode, short video option, slow motion videos, time lapse and others. Xiaomi has introduced the very useful clone mode and dual video features on the pro models but both of them are missing on the Note 10. The camera performance is decent for the price. I like the color accuracy, the sharpness and detailing in most of these images came out really vibrant. The white shots were slightly underwhelming though. The details in the background were lost as you can see in the image sample when we zoom in. The background is slightly faded. The details are not as crisp as you would want them to be. And this was more evident in the pictures clipped using the ultra wide angle lens. The portrait mode is effective but again edge detection can be inconsistent at times. The camera also tends to add a hue of red to the skin tones which can be annoying. The macro lens is probably the biggest highlight of the entire Note 10 series. It performs really well and manages to capture a good number of details. Now the camera slightly struggles in low light conditions but the night mode does a pretty good job and you do manage to click some decent images even in night. Coming to the front camera, the selfies are actually quite sharp. Uh, even in average light conditions, you can see in the image samples as well, that the skin tones remain true and the phone manages to add decent blur in the background. Now overall, the camera performance is quite satisfactory. Again, you have to factor in the cost of the phone, which is, I mean, I have to repeatedly say it's just 12,000 rupees and for that the price is really good. And I'll tell you what, a lot of difference is made by the display on which you see these images because it truly brings them to life. Now this is a slightly tricky segment because the only area where Xiaomi probably held itself back is the performance of the phone. It has used a brand new Qualcomm Snapdragon 678 processor on the Redmi Note 10. In real world, the processor has enough muscle to help you through the daily tasks. It can easily handle texts, mails and even few hours of streaming. The only time I faced some heating issue was after about 45 minutes of continuously using the camera. Now, unlike the Poco M3, which uh, came with the base model of 6GB RAM, uh, Xiaomi has still gone with a 4GB RAM base variant, uh, which combined with 64GB of storage is priced at Rs. 11,000 and the 6GB RAM and 128GB storage variant is priced at 13999 and of course, as we mentioned before, the storage can be expended in either case using a micro SD card. You can also run games like Call of Duty Mobile and Asphalt Night, but only on medium settings. Call of Duty, for example, was running fine for about an hour at high graphic quality and medium frame rate. But don't expect this phone to deliver a very good performance while running heavy games. The Note 10 does not come with stereo speakers like the Pro models, but has a high resolution certificate for audio. In all honesty, the speakers do get loud, which is good to see. Now the good thing is that the Redmi Note 10 series comes with Android 11 out of the box. The disappointing thing though that is that it still runs MIUI 12. However, Xiaomi says that uh, it will be one of the first to receive MIUI 12.5 update which is believed to be and claimed to be a lot cleaner and we are really looking forward to that. For now, your experience will be very similar to any other Xiaomi phones in the recent past. This also means that you also get a decent amount of blotware in the form of pre-installed apps and games and you'll end up uninstalling most of them. The Redmi Note 10 packs a 5000mAh battery which is very close to the 5020mAh battery packs on the Pro models but you can expect a better life on this phone uh, simply because it runs a 60Hz panel instead of the 120Hz panel on the Pro model uh, which uh, of course drains a lot more battery than this. Now my usage was limited to review purpose which involved a bit of gaming, streaming and photography yet I managed to get about 33 hours of battery life in one go. In ideal use case, you should expect the phone to last a day of work. Xiaomi again deserves credit for shipping the phone with a 33 watt fast charger. This becomes particularly important because most high-end smartphones are ditching the charging brick and Xiaomi's decision to retail a Rs 12,000 smartphone with a powerful pack may change the dynamics. The charger is capable of juicing up the smartphone from 0 to 100% in about 100 minutes. Now if anyone is in the market for a Rs 15,000 smartphone, let me say they should look no further. 
I'm really curious to see what Realme does with its Realme 8 series. But let me admit, it will be very difficult to meet the levels of the Redmi Note 10. It will definitely require a special effort. For now, the Redmi Note 10 has one of the best displays at this price point, a beautiful design and a great battery life. Yes, the camera performance can be a bit inconsistent at times, but that's the case with most budget smartphones. The only thing that you probably need to consider is the processor, which is not so powerful. And if gaming is your thing, then you can definitely spend a little more and opt for the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Now, if you like this video, you know what to do. Please hit the like button, share the video. It helps us reach out to more tech enthusiasts like you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the India Radio Tech YouTube channel.